Hello there everyone and how are we all? It is Simon back here for a bit of a different video. This is my Premier League prediction for the up and coming season of 22-23. Basically I'm going to go through all 20 teams of the Premiership where I think they will come. Who will become champions, who will get the top four, who will get the top six for European places and also the relegation battle as always. Fascinating to watch just as much as the title race. So, I've got 20 bits of paper as you can sort of see. We're going to have a little shuffle about. So, like I say, as you sort of, I'm on sort of my bed at the moment. Um, so, like I say, so do sort of bear with me, folks, if, uh, like I say. Um, so, so, let's just shuffle them around and try not to sort of see any. So, here we go, folks. So, like I say, this is just like Premier League edition, like I said. So, let's roll into it. So, let's get the first one out of the way. So, let's pick one in the middle. Straight down the middle. So our very, very first team that we have got on our bit of paper. And we'll have a little chat about them. Get the camera right, Simon. Get the team up. Is... Oh, the first team. If you can see. You can't really sort of see. It is Nottingham Forest. There we go. You can see it clear as day. So... Nottingham Forest, newly promoted, been away from the Premier League for a very, very long time. Um, I think it must be in excess of over 20 years, I'll say. Well, over 20 years, I think. Um, unfortunately, I don't think they're going to do too well. Um, it's not because I sort of don't like them first. I've got nothing against them, as I say. It's just it's sort of like a club sort of rival thing with me, obviously, being sort of Leicester City and that lot. Um, that's sort of obviously, obviously, their sort of key sign, which they made, was uh, Jesse Lingard, which was... I think it's a, quite a lot of surprise to everyone, but obviously it's not in Forest fans that are sort of delighted um, with every, uh, with getting Jesse Ling, I suppose. But um, yeah, I'm not too sure what will happen. But unfortunately, as you can sort of see, um, I've got my little Premier League sort of um, numbers from 1 to 20. You can't really sort of see, so apologies if you can't see, folks, because it is sort of pretty sort of dark. But uh, but anyway, that's sort of pretty too, too bright, shall I say. So, unfortunately, not enough Forest fans, I hate to disappoint you. I am putting you down. Um, I think you will be relegated, I'm afraid. Um, I think I will put you down. I think you'll have a good fight. I just, I, I think I'm going to have to put you, we'll put you 19th place. So, let's just write that down. Not enough Forest. Get there eventually. Nottingham Forest in 19th place. There we go. So let's move on to the next one then. So let's give them another little shuffle. And let's get to the next one. Let's pick. Let's see if we can get a sort of better one. So here we got. Oh, we have got Chelsea. There we go. Chelsea, Chelsea. Wow, well, what can you say? Chelsea, not really doing very well. Um, I know pre-season doesn't sort of really mean anything. Um, so obviously, well, well that's, they, obviously losing sort of Lukaku. I think he's only gone out on loan, though. I don't think he's actually gone, gone. I think he's gone out on loan. I'm not too sure. A lot more people know, especially obviously Chelsea fans and stuff. But anyway, so so where do I think Chelsea will come? Well, let's just say they, they have sort of been struggling. Um, sort of Thomas Tuchel sort of pretty much admitted they're sort of struggling a little bit, but uh, I still think they'll sort of be up there. But I'm actually not got them really that too high. I'm actually gonna put them outside the top four, folks. I'm actually gonna put them. I'm gonna put them in, in sixth place. Yes, you heard right, sixth place. Chelsea in sixth. Who would have thought, eh? So. Crazy, crazy. So anyway, folks, let's give these another shuffle. And let's pick the next team out. We've picked two out there. So who have we got here? Oh, we have got Southampton, folks. Southampton, the Saints. So, prediction. I think they're going to struggle really, really bad this year. Um, even though they've got sort of a... Well, the they sort of got a half de decent uh, manager. Um, not really. I think. I mean, a lot of people that I've seen and sort of spoke to um, 
think they're going to struggle. Um, I think they will struggle um, this season. I think they will struggle that much. They could be possible relegation contenders, I'm afraid. But overall, oh, will they go down? I, I don't know. It's, they could go down. Mm, do you know what? I'm going to put them 17th. I think they will just, just stay up by the skin of their teeth. Um, I think there's a couple of decent players that they've still sort of got in James Ward Prowse, and, but they can't sort of keep relying on one player, which, uh, well, not all premiership teams, but certain premiership teams do. But anyway, so let's get into the next one. So Southampton for 17th, just above relegation. So let's pick the next one. Uh, we got Everton. Interesting, 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 interesting. So Everton, well, the Toffees. Um, wow, what can you say? Um, obviously, sort of they, well, they sort of recruited, recruit, recruited. I get the word out in a minute. Um, sort of recruited uh, a decent sort of centre back Tarkovsky for free from Burnley. Obviously, because Burnley got relegated last season. My beloved Leicester City were sort of after them last, uh, well, the last two or three seasons and end up getting them for free. Everton, uh, Everton end up getting them for free. So, obviously, sort of disappointing, obviously, with my beloved Leicester sort of uh, needing a centre back or two. But anyway, so Everton, not really sort of expecting sort of high hopes. I don't think they're going to be, I think they're sort of, we're going to be sort of, as in my team, Leicester, I think we're going to be sort of near near about them. I don't think they're gonna do sort of too bad. Um, I'm I'm gonna put them down. I'm gonna put them down as uh, oh, it's gonna be tight. I'm gonna put them down as tenth, tenth place for Everton. Right, move to the next one, folks. Let's get into the next one. All right, so we've got to pick two out again there. So we have who we got? Oh, we got Aston Villa. There we go. Look at that, eh? Good old Villa. So the Clarets, um, I think they call the Clarets. Oh, I can't even remember. I should know, being a, a sort of fellow Midlander myself. Um, but like I say, I'm East Midlands, not West. Anyway, so Aston Villa. <clears throat> Obviously, Stephen Gerrard did a fantastic job sort of last year picking up some very sort of interesting, some very nice results. Um, obviously, um, interesting to what they would do this year um obviously with ollie watkins sort of leading the line and, and sort of uh with danny ings as well so i mean they've got a couple of decent players i mean that they, they have had uh well they had sort of a hard decent season last year and they sort of faded away didn't they a little bit but but i think it'll still be sort of half decent season for aston villa i don't think they'll sort of be top half i think they'll just be below it I'm going to put them as 11th place. So, not really sort of... I don't think they're going to sort of do too better than that. But like I say, there's always that one surprise. But uh, the surprise I've got lined up, folks, you'd be pretty shocked. So, the next one we have picked out of the hats is... Oh, it's my beloved Leicester City. Wow, here we go. Try not to go too on them too long about them um wow what can you say uh leicester city <laughs> um the only team in well the only team in the top sort of five um uh, sort of f I, i'm trying to think of the right top sort of five foot five football leagues um they've not assigned a single player um not too sure what's going on with them um, Brendan obviously wanting Brendan Rodgers wanting a big sort of uh, sort of uh, quite a few players like five six players he wanted um, but from what I've heard from sources and other sort of people it, it just appears that we're not going to buy anyone because we literally haven't got the money to buy anyone so I don't know what's going on uh, promise here promise there and the sort of sort of let themselves down I suppose but uh, I haven't really got any so expectations this year for them I think they'll still do sort of a solid job. Um, but they could sort of, it could go one way or the other, as less than they always do. Um, so I'm actually going to put them, I don't think they're going to do too well this year. I'm going to put them in eighth. I uh, don't think they'll sort of go too higher than that. I mean, I'm hoping they'll get higher than that, obviously, but uh, I just don't think they will. 
anyway, back to... So we've got sort of uh, six teams out the way so far. <laughs> it's been 10 minutes long, this has. So anyway, so who have we got now? So... Oh, we have Leeds United. There we go, Leeds United. Marvellous. So another team, um, a sort of big club that struggled sort of last year. Um, just literally avoided relegation on the last day. Um, I think it was just avoided relegation on the last day. Uh, very sort of shocked, obviously, because uh, I thought they would do sort of quite well considering they got some half decent sort of players. Um, in Calvin Phillips, um, obviously Patrick Bamford's obviously sort of been sort of injured, uh, injured sort of like for a, a while. Um, and obviously Rafinha, obviously uh, they had last year, but I think they will struggle this year. I really, really do. I don't think they're going to do too much better than what they did last year. Probably an extra place or two. <sighs> oh God, where would you put them? I mean, obviously, because they've lost Calvin Phillips, I think Calvin Phillips only went for like 40 million or something, which is, I think is quite cheap considering that the player that he is. I'm not saying he's a world beat or a world class player, but he's a very, very good player. Um, but obviously, he'll sort of fit into uh, Man City quite well, I think. So, and obviously, Rafinha going to Barcelona, I think, I, I believe he went to Barcelona in the end. So, so the expectations for Leeds United, I'm not really going to put them too high. I am going to put them in 16th place. I think they will sort of struggle again. Um, like I say, two of their big, big players that have gone, I think they'll just struggle. But like I say, I still got now for 16th. I think that they're, they're, they're going to be sort of in the relegation battle again this year, I think. Anyway, so let's get to the next team, folks. We have got... Oh, we have got Bournemouth. Yes, and you can sort of see it. Bournemouth. The next side, the new newly promoted side, and nice to see him back again in the Premiership. So Bournemouth again, um, not too sure what their expectations are. I'm assuming obviously it's just to survive, and uh, sort of um, hopefully sort of survive and sort of build from that. Um, yeah, and I, I I don't think in my eyes. I, I, oof, I mean, where would you put him? Unfortunately, I I have got him down to go down again. I don't think they're gonna sort of stay in the Premiership. I mean, I, I mean, I, you know, Bournemouth are sort of um, obviously not the biggest of grounds in the world. Obviously, one of the smaller sort of grounds in the Premiership. But fans, are massive. Well, the the support from Bournemouth, are, they've got some very loud fans. Put it that way. So, <laughs> um, but unfortunately, I think this year, um, I think they just sort of come up and then they're gonna go down again. So, unfortunately, Bournemouth, I am sorry. I have got you down. To go actually down, down. Now I've got you down for last place. Anyway, so there we go. So we are sort of nearly halfway through. Um, sort of 13 minutes long this video is taking. My God, it's been taking such a long time anyway. So the next club I've got now is... Oh, interesting one. West Ham United. There we go, West Ham. Brighton's not very clear, folks. Apologies. <laughs> anyway, um, a very interesting season for West Ham uh, for many reasons, obviously. Um, obviously, sort of heartbreak in the Europa last year. They've had a brilliant season, to be fair. I mean, I mean, they, 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 they were fantastic. I mean, they got to Europa, so what, semi-final, I think it was, didn't they? Um and they were really really good that they were sort of at one point you know obviously in Champions League spots they were sort of there for a, a little while sort of hovering around but obviously no disrespect to West Ham the sort of the bigger clubs decide sort of well they came good in the end no disrespect to West Ham I love West Ham I think they're a great great side got some very good players and obviously like I say you've got Jared Bowen obviously they never sort of ending um Mikel Antonio sort of ever. Sort of physical presence. They got some. They got solid players in the solid goalkeeper. Um, I think they'll have another good season again. As for where they finish, I don't think they're going to sort of do too much better. But I think they will be there and thereabouts again. Uh, I I think they're gonna. I think they're gonna be. Oh, where do I put them? I think they'll do better than us this year. Um, so I'm gonna have to put West Ham. In seventh place look at that eh? it's, yeah we've got low battery on the phone folks so just bear with me two seconds while i put my phone on charge 
so folks I hope you like I say have all been well um, like I say I've sort of been struggling but sort of starting to feel a little bit better um, but like I say just talking in general is just making me sort of feel better anyway so let's get back into it and let's get into the next team so the next team we have got oh this is the one this is the one I've been talking about Newcastle United there we go Newcastle United wow well then um I sort of probably made a little boo-boo of my predictions here folks um I should really sort of gone to a completely different direction as you can sort of see there I've got West Ham 7th Leicester 8th um now I'm going to have a little swap around because uh I don't think, like I said, I'm going to have to cross that out and cross West Ham out. So, what I'm, as you can sort of see, folks, blah, 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 I am actually going to put Leicester in ninth. And I'm going to put West Ham in eighth. Because I think this year they will be, I think seven gets you Europa League, I think, anyway. So, I'm putting Newcastle in seventh place. Now, I've made a poll prediction with other people. Um, I've sort of said, I mean, I mean no one's took the bet on with me yet. Um, Newcastle to be in the Champions League within five years. So by sort of like 28, 28, 2028, 2029 season, I think there'll be sort of Champions League place, I think, with the, well, obviously with the, the money they got, which is just ridiculous. I mean, they could buy Manchester City like 10 times over, which is just madness. So I have actually got Newcastle in seven because obviously literally just the sheer sort of they can literally buy who they want now to be fair. So so keep an eye out for them. So like I say, sorry for the boo-boo error sort of thing. I should have sort of um should have sort of known better. But anyway, so that's the team. Many big teams are below Newcastle. And like I say, I think they will be there thereabouts for Europa. Seventh place I have gotten. So they were sort of like one of my dark horses this year to be in the top six. I know it sounds bonkers, doesn't it? It's only about Newcastle. No disrespect to them, because I do like them. There is another team we're looking forward to, and I'm hoping I'll sort of pick them out next. Oh, and that is the team. Wow. We have Arsenal, folks. Yes, Arsenal. Now, they've recruited very, very well against Zinchenko. Again, obviously, Gabriel Jesus. They've, I mean, they've got quality, and it is, you know, with Martinelli, Smith-Rowe. Uh, Saka, I mean, the list goes on. Gabriel, I mean, Hennessy, uh, Hennessy Ra Ramsdale. They've got some wonderful players at the club. And I think Michael Arteta's now sort of finally got the squad he probably wants. How well they will do, I've got, I've, I've, I've predicted him in a very, very bold place this year. I've actually gone for Arsenal to do Champions League, this uh, to get the Champions League spot this year. I have got them for fourth place. Um, I'll just write it down, folks. There we go. So Arsenal down as fourth. Looking forward to see what they do. The attacking is just ridiculous. I mean, they smashed the V is six 0 I think it was. That's just ridiculous. Anyway, so the team was looking interesting. It's roughly about halfway through now. So let's get into the next team, folks. And that is Brentford. Yes, there we go, Brentford. So Brentford did very, very well last season. Obviously, there were uh, bit, of course, some upsets. Obviously, of course, some big upsets. Play some very nice football. Um, obviously, took Tony being a sort of very key player, but that they played well as a squad in general. They haven't got big superstars. Obviously, that Ericsson last year was phenomenal for them, and uh, yeah. But unfortunately, this year I think they will sort of struggle because obviously the old sort of thing goes when a Premiership team gets sort of promoted. The season after they get promoted, usually they tend to sort of do not too sort of well. Uh, the second sort of season syndrome, if you want to sort of call it. So unfortunately, Brentford, um, I haven't got you as relegated, but so I have got you sort of a little bit down. But I'm going to put you, uh, I will put you sort of 15th. I don't think you will get relegated. I think you're sort of too good for that. Um, so there we go. So Brentford in 15th. So, so as you can sort of see, folks, look at that. Top three. Ooh, top five. 
still haven't sort of got sort of too near it yet. So, but anyway, the next side is. Oh, it's Wolves. Wolverhampton Wanderers, the West Midland boys. So, Wolverhampton Wanderers. So, um, obviously, Jimenez um, sort of being back. I think he is. Being back, obviously, with that really nasty sort of uh, injury he caught last year with his head and stuff. And, and thank God he's back, obviously. Um, play some lovely football, obviously. Uh, I don't think they've got Troy. I think cause he's out on lineup. Barcelona, I think at the moment, or Barcelona. I'm not too sure if Barcelona got him. I'm not too sure, but he's 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 just not good enough for, in my eyes, the Premiership. I know it's bold to say it. he's just all pace, but he can't cross a ball to save his life. Um. But anyway, so Wolverhampton Wanderers, like I say, they play some very nice football, interesting style of football. But I think they sort of will sort of sh struggle this year just a little bit. But I don't think they're going to get relegated. Obviously, I think they'll still be solid. I think I'm going to put them down as 12th. I think they'll sort of be there, sort of just below mid-table. I don't think they're going to be sort of too much higher than that. So here we go. So can we, we ain't really picked any of the big boys yet, have we? Oh, so we've got one of the newly promoted sides, and the last one I've got out of the last is Fulham. Fulham, very Fulham. So follow back up to the Premiership again. I love lovely to see them back. Uh, but like I say, another sort of season. I think just like sort of the the likes of sort of uh, Nottingham Forest and Bournemouth. I think they will go straight back down. No disrespect to Fulham. I think they sort of do a decent job. Um, they did a, well. They were just phenomenal, weren't they, in the Championship? weren't they? I mean, they. I mean, Mitrovic scored what a stupid amount of goals. But he scored what forty some goals. I'm stupid. Oh, the bloke was just phenomenal. But not to say, it's another season in the Premiership for him. Can he actually do it? But unfortunately, I don't think they will. I think they will be relegated. I think out of the three teams that get promoted, I think they will be the one in 18th. So heart break for them, I'm afraid. And back to the Championship, you go. So we're going to try and speed this up just a little because we've been going off over 20-something minutes now, thanks. But anyway, so the next team out is... Brighton, yes, Brighton. So Brighton sort of did fairly, fairly decent last year. Uh, some quite some quality players, obviously some experience within Danny Welbeck and obviously a sort of uh, decent centre back in Dunk and obviously goalkeeper pretty good and obviously uh, Cucurella, who's probably their best player, I think. Um, I say you got Lamptey as well. I don't know if Lamptey's still at Brighton. I'm not too sure, folks, but. Somebody will probably tell me anyway, so I don't really know a lot. But anyway, so, so anyway, so as you sort of tell folks, I've not really got any optimism for it this year. I love the manager. I think the manager, I can't remember his name, but I can picture his face, but I can't think of his name. So brain fart again. Um, so yeah, sort of like I say, sort of very sort of defensive sort of uh, manager. Sort of a bit like, sort of, I suppose, like the old like Nigel Pearson and sort of Mourinho, I suppose, back in the day. But anyway, so Brighton, well, well, I think they will finish. I don't think they're going to sort of do too good this year. I don't think they're going to sort of be high, high in the table. I think they will be uh, round about sort of where the sort of like the second sort of scrap will be between like 10th to 15th. I think it's going to be a bit of a struggle for this year. But I haven't gotten relegated, obviously. I still think they'll do sort of pretty well. Um, so I've got them then as 13th. So look at that. So still got the big boys to pick out. So here we go. What is the next team? Here we go. Oh, we have Spurs. Yes. Looks like it says Sours, doesn't it? <laughs> that is Tottenham Hotspur. We obviously nicknamed Spurs. So Tottenham, very good recruitment. Um, I think they're probably going a bit overboard of thinking what they potentially are going to do. I mean, they keep saying they're going to sort of get this and potentially win a trophy this year. I mean, I mean, anyone can sort of win a trophy. No disrespect to them, but I, I just, I, I don't know. I mean, they've got Perisic. I mean, he is getting on just a little bit now. I mean, he, he's a good sign and he would have been a good sign for four or five years ago. I don't think he's, I think it's too slow. For, I mean, I think the premiership is too quick for him. Um, they did recruit somebody. I can't think. Of. <laughs> I'm so I'm terrible with names. They got from Brighton. Um, some, uh, Basuma. I think they got. I think is his name Basuma. 
Um, and like I say, and obviously the ever still presence of Son and Harry Kane. Um, I think there will be. I think they will be up there. I think for title contenders, no, I don't think they will be. Um, but I can actually see them getting a Champions League spot. So I think they will finish in third place above, just above Arsenal. Looking forward to that. So we have four spots to go, thanks. So let's hope we can get. Uh, like I say, see if we can get. Um, Oh, crikey! We get the, we get the, we get the pit paper out this in a bit. <laughs> oh dear! Oh, we got Liverpool. So the beloved Merseyside boys, Liverpool. Wow, what do you say about Liverpool? We've got to a cracking sort of start. Obviously, the Community Shield beating Man City. Obviously, the sort of hype was all about um, Haaland, obviously in his first sort of game for Manchester City. Sort of in serious competition. Obviously, it didn't fare too sort of well for him, obviously. Um, Liverpool, yeah, they look obviously a threat, obviously, with their sort of signings in Nunes and Jota just signing a new long term deal at the club. And yeah, looking, uh, looking great, looking good. Salah, good as ever. Arnold looks great as ever. They've still got some good players in there. Um, Oh, where do I think they will come? Oh, I just obviously, from my eyes, it's between Liverpool and Man City as always this year. But unfortunately, you, uh, Merseyside boys, I've got you down as second. I do not think you will win the league again. I think Man City are a much better team, even though you probably know where I'm going now when I get Man City, so because we ain't got far to go, folks. Anyway, so next team, it is Crystal. Palace, if you can sort of see it. So there we go. Uh, can't really sort of see it. My writing's terrible, folks. So Crystal Palace sort of caused a few upsets last year. And obviously with Patrick Vieira having his sort of first season in the Premiership um, as a manager, obviously. Play a nice sort of style of football, Crystal Palace. But obviously they just, they sort of tend to get, I mean, they're, they're funny side Crystal Palace because they tend to get a, a great result against one team. And then for some reason they'll go, and lose no disrespect to say say uh say a Southampton they're sort of like they go and beat say like an Arsenal for example and then the week after they're going to get smashed like you know by a Leeds United or something like or Southampton no disrespect like I say to them um as I think for where they'll come I don't think they'll come to too high um I think uh like I say I think they will come fourteenth in the league I think they'll have. I don't think they're going to get relegated. I think they've got too much quality in their squad to get relegated. So, folks, you know who we've got left. <laughs> you know who we've got left. So, here we go. So, let's have a look. So, the last team is... Second to the last team. It is Manchester United. Yes, Manchester United. So, folks, Manchester United sort of recruiting and still waiting to see if they can get the young... Um, it doesn't look like they're going to get in by the sound of it. Um, I think it's the young they're trying to get. Um, but like I say, they've made a couple of sort of, um, obviously sort of signs with Martinez, um, who looks a bit of a, quite a bit of an animal, he looks quite a bit of a beast. Um, but uh, as for Man United, as always, they sort of have the attack, but they don't have the back. So... Uh, but they've got a decent manager in Eric Ten Hag. Um, I think he'll sort of do well. But I think it's a, I think at Manchester United they'll have a rebuild. And obviously Ronaldo, no idea what's going on with him, whether he's staying or going. But I think he's sort of staying now. Um, so, but it's, it's going to be an interesting season for Manchester United. For Champions League football, I do not think so. I think they will finish fifth. I don't think that they will be up there. Um, for title contenders, but I think they'll still get top six quite comfortably. Um, so I think obviously they're sort of there you go. So, last but not least, I can't believe that's actually come out last, which is absolutely mental. And that is, yes, Manchester City. So, Manchester City. Um, what can you well, what can you say really? Um, I know they sort of obviously got beat in. Uh, against Liverpool in the Community Shield. <sighs> yeah, they sort of didn't look sort of too good, but um, 
last year they sort of I mean they got criticised quite largely because they said they didn't play sort of pretty football but they still won the league which is just bonkers um, obviously they've still got the quality in Bernardo Silva obviously Kevin De Bruyne um, and obviously they've got we had Mares and I know they're sort of like say Diaz and uh, Laporte and all them lot got some quality players Edison I mean they've got players everywhere they're just full of full of quality and obviously Haaland an absolutely world class superstar come to the Premiership nice to see uh, nice to see him come to the Premiership. God, I would have loved him to have a Leicester, but oh, I felt we could afford his wages. <laughs> and why would he want to come to Leicester? No disrespect. Um, but anyway. So, yeah, so I have I've got Manchester City, as you can pretty much sort of see, to win the Premier League again. Oh, let me get this sort of Z coming up on my phone. Do apologise for that. So, like I say, I've got Manchester City to win the Premier League. I th it's going to be tight again. I think it will go down to the wire again last day of the season. Very interesting indeed. So there we go. So let's get the Manchester City down. So there we go, folks. So that is my Premiership predictions. Um, obviously, a, a few surprises there for you folks, like I say. So how we go? We'll go from 20 to first. So the three relegated teams will be Bournemouth, Nine of Forest and Fulham. And in the 17th place, I have got Southampton. Uh, so then I've got Southampton, Leeds United, Brentford, Crystal Palace, Brighton, Wolves, Aston Villa, Everton uh, making the 10th place, and then Leicester City, uh, West Ham, and then I've got Newcastle to finish 7th, which I su might surprise a lot of people. Uh, Chelsea to finish 6th. Uh, Manchester United, well, I suppose Chelsea is probably a big surprise, I think. I don't think they'll do well, like I said. Manchester United just missing out on the Champions League. I think Arsenal will finish fourth. Tottenham Hotspur will finish third. Liverpool will be runners up with the Premiership and Manchester City to win the Premier League again. So there we go, folks. So that is my predictions for the Premier League. Golden Boot, I think it will be either Haaland or Salah. I don't think you're sort of too far past them. Um, obviously, the player to watch will be obviously probably Haaland. Um, could this finally be Manchester City's year to win the uh, win the Champions League? I'm assuming they probably would be favourites again to win it. Liverpool, well, they they always guarantee trophies one or two each year, so no surprises indeed if they pick up stuff. Newcastle, like I said, will be the surprise a bunch. I think this year. I think I know the sort of not really sort of done sort of too much, but I think like I say, um. The money that they got and the transfer window still being open. There still could be some big, big signers there yet. Anyway, so there we go, folks. I am done with my predictions for today. And like I say, thanks for listening to me for the best part of literally over half an hour. And, uh, and I'll be looking forward to hearing your comments and what you think will be the big surprises and where who you think will be Premiership champions, who will be relegated uh, from the Premiership. And, uh, and obviously who will be Golden Boot and uh, all the rest of it and all the other club competitions to think about. And it? Marvellous job. Anyway, folks, I am done for now, folks. And like I say, thanks for listening and thanks for putting on my annoying voice as always. And, uh, and I shall hopefully catch you soon. And like I say, give me your thoughts and comments and what you think. But for now, I am done. And I shall hopefully sort of catch you sort of towards the end of the season and uh, give you my thoughts on... Uh, on hopefully another magnificent premiership season, which I think it will be. So there we go, folks. So I'll leave it there. I shall catch you soon. And as always, subscribe. And obviously, like I say, smash a like on this video. Greatly appreciate it for your support. And I shall catch you soon. So take care, folks, and stay safe. And I shall see you soon for some more, hopefully, more football talk. Bye, all.